All right, we got the all hip hop exclusive out here in Pennsylvania, Harrisburg, man, with the legend, producer, bad boy, entertainment, Papa Dot, aka Mad Rapper, aka D Dot. What's going on, man? What's going on? We be out here in Pennsylvania. Just happened to run into my man Jesse Ford out here. My daughter's in the National American Miss Pageant. Just ended, so he was having a good time. I appreciate so, you. Brother. Appreciate you, appreciate you having me interview, man. And so what's going on with you, man? I know you've been doing some huge stuff in the past. You produced uh, the, the hit single, Hypnotized by Biggie. You, you worked with Mace, you worked with Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? You worked with several A1 artists right now, including Kanye West at his beginning stage and 50 Cent when you had the, uh, had the album coming out called The Mad Rapper, man. How's, how's things going right now? What's going on with you? Man, things are great, you know what I'm saying? Um, through my experiences in the game, um, I got a chance to work, like you said, with some great artists from LL Cool J to Biggie to Pete Diddy to Jay Z, Mary J. Vibe, you know, I used to tour manage Mary J. Blige in the early 90s. And, you know, obviously, I was the manager and mentor of Kanye West, helped with the introduction of 50 Cent on the first records, How to Rock. Um, you know, working on a new Mad Rapper project, um, it's called Still Mad Part 2, you know what I mean? Um, and got some heavyweights on there. Um, when, when it's gonna come out, man? Well, you know, right now it's just really just. Getting all the pieces together. The industry, as you see what's going on, there's beefs everywhere. There's people, DJs, rappers, and Hollywood actors, and football players, and basketball. Everybody's just healing on each other right now. I know something in the water. I got a lot of things to say, and I want to say it the right way. I want to say it not politically correct. I'm going to get a little ornery. I'm going to get a little disrespectful. But it's all in the name of music and all in the name of the fun. But they know I come in peace. Mad Rapper to the rescue. You know what I'm saying? I can dig it. Well, Mad Rapper, the legend, legend, the Papa Diamond. How do you feel about the transition phase of hip-hop right now, man? Well, I mean, you know, it's good. It's, it's like I said, it's good as it's bad. You know, um, I'm happy to see that hip-hop has expanded to an international form. I mean, Russia. I mean, guys are traveling to... Germany, Russia, you know, the Ukraine, they're going to South Americas and Brazils, and you know what I'm saying, and, and white, black, Chinese, Japanese, Korea, I mean, they're all into the hip-hop movement, so hip-hop is never going away. Unfortunately, when you have the good, you also have the bad. And then, because of the new technologies, and because it, it, it became so available to everybody, anybody thinks they could be a rapper, anybody thinks they could be a DJ. And sometimes the market is getting a little flooded with a lot of trash. But the good thing about it is that the good will shine through. So you got all the new rappers coming up that I respect. I respect everybody. Let me just make sure you understand that because I know how hard it is to do this. But I'm not saying, man, I got to like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So as a producer and as an executive, we have to sift through the wackness to get to the, to the diamonds in the rough. For those that don't know, Papa Dye used to be the captain of the Big Diddy. P. Diddy, Hitman, producer, Definitely. Definitely. bad boy, right. that produced hits after hits after hits, man. Right. Are you still affiliated with Puff Daddy, or? Well, definitely. Me and Puff Daddy go back to Howard University, so we're going to be friends forever. I mean, I haven't worked for him in a number of years, over 10 years. I left in 98, but, you know, I've still executive produced projects for him. I still participate in lots of re uh, reality shows, like Making of the Bands, if you remember. So him and I are always going to be great friends for the rest of our lives. We do great business together. Matter of fact, um, I'm probably going to be on this new album called Last Train to Paris. Okay. Um, so, you know, we're always going to be affiliated. I don't work for him anymore. I haven't worked for him in a while. But, you know, like I said, we're always friends. I, I still keep great relationships with everybody, including Kanye and the Jay-Zs and everybody. But as you get older, everybody gets their own thing. They get their own teams going on. So when we see each other, it's always all love. And I also know that you had a big impact on the Notorious uh, movie that came out in 2009 with Fox and Searchlight Pictures. Man, you, you had a big impact on that, giving that story through because you lived through those years, huh? I was the music consultant for the movie, and, the, uh, and, and basically they need me to be the, the authenticity expert to make sure that the person who was playing Kim and the person who was playing Big and the person who was playing Diddy, they had a little authenticity to them. They had a little research done. Just the movements and the characters and maybe certain things that went on behind the scenes that could add to the flavor. Shout out to Mark Pitts and Wayne Barrow and, and George Tillman, the director, and all the people, you know, of, of course Diddy and Biggie and Miss Wallace. Everybody gave me the opportunity to be a part of that and get to tell the story of my man Christopher Wallace, aka Big, you know what I'm saying? So that was a great opportunity. Shout out to Zola Mashariki, by the way, whose family. She's also one of the heads of uh, Fox Searchlight Pictures, so I gotta give her a shout out. She's a lawyer, she's from Brooklyn, she's black. 
she did her thing and she helped put it all together because you know hip hop is in her heart. You have a business called Connect the Doc Consultant yes. LLC. Yes. Uh, can you tell us a little bit, a little bit, a little bit about that, about that new entrepreneurship well, business called Connect the Dots is my company. It's called Connect the Dots Consulting LLC. And basically, what it is, being an OG in the game and helping a lot of guys get their careers and different things off the ground, men and women. I decided to, you know, take that upon myself to be like the, the high school coach or the college coach that these cats get to experience, they get the life experiences, they get the music experiences, they get the business experiences, they get the, the expertise and the advice on how to proceed or how not to proceed, who to deal with and who not to deal with, or how to deal with them, and, and get through some red tapes. And that's what I do, and obviously I have a website called Connect the Dots, you know, LLC.com, uh, and www.connectedthedotsllc, and you can go on there, and you can read more about me, and read more about the things that I do. And I advise on music, I advise on schooling, I advise on production, I advise on songwriting, you know, management. I just advise on things that sometimes are the extraneous things in the music business. Not everybody needs to be a rapper, not everybody needs to be a producer. There's so many other avenues from marketing to promotion to artwork to even just the making of CDs and the making of stuff. So that's what Connected Dots is, www.connectedthedotsllc.com. That's what's up, man. We got all hip-hop exclusive out here with the legendary producer, Hitman, Bad Boy Entertainment, yeah. Papa Dot, man. Easy I appreciate Cat the time. That's my name and my company for production. So make sure you get that at www.madrapper.com. You can go in there and see the website where I be beefing and yelling and screaming at everybody. Shout out to my man Jesse Porter. Shout out to all hip hop. I see y'all every day. Got the new Mad Rapper exclusives coming. New Wise P and new Black Raw coming for y'all. Right? Appreciate it. All right, man. Thanks a lot, sir. One love. Biggie, biggie, biggie. Can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. And I just love your flashy ways. Guess that's why they're broken. You're so mean. Uh -huh. Can't you see? Uh -huh. Sometimes your words just hypnotize me, uh -huh. and I just love your flashy ways. Uh -huh. Guess it's why they're broken. You're so uh -huh. I can feel you with real millionaires. That's cargo, my cargo, one sixty, swiftly. Wreck it by your new one. Your crew run, run, run. Your crew run, run.